<laughs> oh, guys, I literally, first of all, hello, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I threw my literal, the one that started it all, I'm talking early 80s, the Silver Buddy, put in gold. It is cloudy, it is perfect, it is absolutely the most beautiful early winter's day out here. It's the first week of December, and I got my first cold bass. Guys, it's about 46 to 47 degree water temperature, and look at that classic. You guys have seen tons of videos on the blade baits, but you're about to see another one because I've been throwing everything from a deep diving crankbait to an Alabama rig to a big old silicone, not even a silicone, a living rubber jig and nothing until I literally pick this up and have a group of fish right by my buoy mark. Not a great big fish, but a great fish to start the day. And uh, yeah, the blade bait guys, what would we do without it? So let's get that back down there and see how many we can catch. I'm on a lake in Virginia, so it's mid-Atlantic fishing again. Uh, I'm gonna start calling this the Dink Lake. This lake has got tons of little fish, but in the winter time, we've caught them up to nine pounds out here. So let's see if we can find one of them. I'm actually anchored up right now. So I anchored up, so I, I don't have any wind right now, but I am literally just on top of a little school of fish, and that's what it's all about in the wintertime. These schools, these schools of fish, they bunch up, they get in these little, little tight pods, and that's what's going on right here. I got a buoy marker out, and I've been thrown to it. Like I said, with all those other uh, big baits and everything else you can think of, the kitchen sink even, and then this blade bait comes out and bang, wax one on the first cast, unbelievable. So the setup, real, real simple, just a seven foot medium, power fast action shaky head special rod by Luz, just their custom speed stick a stratic ci4 2500 with 12 pound test braid and a 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader and all i'm doing is taking this little it's not even a half ounce this is probably the quarter ounce the smallest size they make in the silver buddy and i'm just letting it sink to the bottom short little hops let it flutter down that's all the blade baits about guys real subtle and real easy so let's keep going and see what's happening for you die hard silver buddy fans take a look what i did here this is a little bit different i cut off the original hooks that come with the silver buddy and i went ahead and i put some o-rings <laughs> o-rings put some split rings on right there and i added some really really great little mustad hooks on there so i got a custom hooked silver buddy right here a much sharper hooks than come with it and uh, a lot easier to change them out now these things get lost all the time on the bottom so keep in mind you're going to lose some of these silver buddies so it's going to be your call as to whether or not you want to change out the hooks but uh i just want to get a much better hook set for the ones i'm looking to catch and for those fish that are right here i'm on a pretty clean bottom i'm pretty confident i'm not going to get hooked up there's really no brush or any kind of rocks or anything down here it's just a clean little bit of structure where there's a drop off and the fish are just hanging on that lip so i should be okay not getting hung up and those sharp mustad hooks should do the job we're in some beautiful conditions today. The weather log, the weather log. What do we got today? We got about 55 to 65 degrees. It's starting out about 45 this morning and it's gonna get up into the 50s. And at some point today with a warm front coming in, we might hit 65 degrees uh, on the first week of December in Northern Virginia. That's pretty awesome. So if it gets to that point, uh, the sun might break out, but right now we got cloud cover. We had mist and rain early, early this morning and everything's just calmed down. It's really, really nice out here. Can't ask for better in the early December in the mid-Atlantic. Oh boy, I think I picked up fish number two, but it doesn't feel big unless it's really swimming at me. Ooh, I got a tiny one. All right, there's two fish though, folks. Again, I'm still sticking with the uh, blow. What do we got here? It might be a crappie. Yep, I think I got a crappie, guys. All right, species number two, and not a bad one. Check him out. That's a not not a bad little crappie. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and throw him back and see if we can get some bass. I know I've caught a bunch of crappie in my past few videos and not brought them home. All you guys are telling me bring that stringer, bring that stringer, but that's just a little small. If I if I catch a couple if I catch a couple big ones like that not like that bigger ones in general i'm going to take a couple home but there's species number two still sticking with the blade bait stick around well i bundled up a little bit i took off the baseball cap and put on the little winter cap plus a little heavier coat i got a mist out here too it's misting the wind picked up a little bit the wind chills up so uh, interesting conditions it was supposed to get up to about 65 degrees today with a warm front but with this breeze it's still staying pretty cold and the sun isn't even trying to show itself so it's a little nippy out here There we go. There we go. That's a little better fish. Not much. Let's see if it jumps. It might be a bass. I think it's a bass. It came up quick. Sweet. All right, guys. There's bass number two on the blade bait. Right off a point. 
Again, not a huge fish, but a slushy little nothing or nothing of a bite. I'm telling you, these blade baits are tricky. When you feel something, guys, just rear back because it's probably going to be a bass uh, or a crappie or who knows what else since they catch every species swimming. But there you go. Thank goodness the blade bait's out because it's catching a couple fish. There's number three fish, number two bass. <laughs> All right, they keep locking up on my uh, on my silver buddy here. This feels like a little heavier fish. What we got going on here? Either I snagged another fish or I got a decent one right here. Let's see what we got. Uh, just another decent little cookie cutter, guys. I found a point that's holding a bunch of fish. That's great. Ah, oh, about the same exact size these fish are all about. This, this lake's known for these guys, I'm telling you. There's those bright red lips that they start getting. In the winter time, skinny little guy. He needs to eat some more. Go back and eat. There we go. On the fall, sweet. All right, let's see if we can get this one in. See what it was or what it is. Little head shakes. It's a decent little bass. Okay, another cookie cutter. Guys, getting on numbers in the early winter is not a bad deal. That's what this lake's always known for. But to get them, get them like this is pretty awesome. So I'm happy to catch them. Look how pale they are. They get down deep. They get pale like that in the cold. All right, let's get some more. There we go. Another bite. Jeez. That is so cool feeling this bite on the on the fall too. When it hits on the fall and you feel that little tap, it is a cool, cool feeling. This one's actually fighting a little bit. Uh, this is awesome. Oh, not much bigger than the other ones. It's still really skinny too. These fish are struggling in this lake. Poor thing. Yeah, no wonder you want to eat. All right, yeah, he ate it in the fall. He got it down deep. There he goes. Guys, I'm fishing in probably 20 to 30 feet of water. I'm throwing up in about 20 and I'm sitting here in about 28 right now. So that's how deep these fish get in the, in this, <laughs> in the winter time, I should say. It's not winter time. Winter time is still not officially till late December. So we're still in a late fall pattern here. The water temperature is at 47 degrees. We're not down into 30s like we're going to be. Uh, but this blade bait's going to work from here on down. So break them out, guys. If there's nothing else working for you, this blade bait's gonna do it with this cloud cover and this stain. This lake is usually normally pretty clear, but right now we've got some pretty stained water with the past uh, past rains that we had. So this gold colored silver buddy with cloud cover and stained water is the ticket. Remember, if you've got clear water, sunny skies, just go with the chrome or silvers and you should be good to go. Okay, this has gotta be the biggest group of fish that I've seen and the largest marks. So. Hopefully there's a bigger fish in this little group, but I got the buoy marker out there. I'm gonna throw it just past the buoy marker. Let her sink to the bottom, and hop it back. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what's down there. I got something out of my little spot. Like I said, the marks were a little bit bigger looking, but that's not to say much, because again, this lake is filled with dinks and that's what this is. So. Got another fish on another little drop, but it's all good because we're catching fish. <laughs> if he's on there, he's tiny. He's on there, but he's tiny, guys. Oh, is this the third species? It's not tiny. Wow, that is, guys, that is not tiny. I got another great big panfish. It's not a great, great big, but that's a shell cracker, I believe. That's a beautiful, uh, that's a beautiful fish. My goodness, stout, real stout fish. Look at the meat on this thing. Between that and that one crappie I caught, that would have been one heck of a meal. There he is. I can lip that guy. <laughs> Another great big panfish. All right, let's put him back. The sun's going down. Guys, sunset, mid-Atlantic, just before 5 o'clock. There's just not enough hours in the day. It is actually dipping quick. So uh, it's about 4.15, 4.20 right now. i got about 40 minutes of, uh, of light to fish. So hopefully I'll be able to pop one more bass and hopefully a big one. Otherwise, if not, heck of a day. Numbers are great. For this time of year and 47 degree water temperature thanks to the blade bait all right guys oh i locked into another one and it's getting dark oh it's getting so dark 
This might be it, guys. I'm going to call it. <laughs> I'm going to call it because if you look at the fog around me, this is the darkest. I, I mean, without a thunderstorm coming in, this is the darkest 430 I've ever seen. It is really dreary out here. It's really weird because it's warm. It feels nice. This warm front came in, and uh, it's just an odd, odd day for early, early December. Guys, it's been awesome. I, much better uh, much better than sitting at home doing nothing and coming out here and catching a few dinks uh, in 47 degree water. So folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.